Hi, I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at Hot Docs in downtown Toronto. I'm here with Francesco Tocci. How does it feel to be uh, here at Hot Docs uh, producing your film about uh, Italy and food and its connection to history? Well, first, it's my first time here, so it's exciting. And I really appreciate this laid-back atmosphere because uh, at the end of the day, it's, it really facilitates the interaction with other people, with producer, with distributor, with all the crowd attending this event. And uh, so, yes, it's great. And I've seen a lot of other interesting projects and it's very stimulating because, uh, I mean, you have to share Just by sharing ideas. So then you create your own ideas. And, uh, and uh, I love Italy for a lot of reasons, but food is definitely a big one. Um, so it, can you just speak a little bit to th what this film is all about and, and how it's looking at food in a different way? Yes. Well, mm, we started uh, in the last two years to work uh, with this uh, British historian of the college, uh, London College. And uh, he's an expert about Italy. And uh, he wrote this best-selling book called Delizia, the, the history of Italy and its food. And so we decided, why not make a series about that? Because, I mean, uh, enabling us to cover uh, a, long, a long period, I mean, from uh, ancient Romans basically to Second World War, by recounting history through food. It's, uh, I mean, it's more exciting. So, yeah, as I was telling you before, uh, food is uh, greatly related to power, and power is greatly related to history. So in each chapter, in, in each episode of this series, we are analyzing uh, a certain historical period and how basically food shaped the historical events uh, occurring in that period. So, so, like, for example, can you tell me when pizza was yeah. affecting a certain... I was right about to make this oh. example. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, pizza is a nice example because uh, before it was considered disgusting. Because by the time it, it was invented, it was a very, I mean, low-class meal. And it was dangerous because mozzarella, I mean, they don't have the same ways to preserve food as we have today. So they didn't have uh, refrigerators and, and stuff. So, I mean, it was potentially lethal as a, as a food. Then... Um, because, like, the cheese could go bad or... Exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Then there was a, a, a... It was a period of... Um, okay, we are talking about uh, 18th century, 17th, 18th century. Okay. And there was a rebellion of the low classes toward the aristocracy. And by that time, uh, um, Spain was ruling in, uh, in southern Italy. And uh, I mean, to show that the monarchy was close to the people, Queen Margaret asked for a, a, a dish of pizza, a, a big, huge pizza. And she loved that so much that uh, si ever since the pizza became uh, as popular as it is nowadays. So, uh, you know, in Toronto, there's a restaurant called Queen Margarita Pizza. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it may all makes sense now. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and where can we find out more information on you and the film online? Yeah, well, um, maybe the best way is to go on our website. So you can also check out uh, the other productions we, we're doing. It's www.ga. E -A dot I -T. Yeah, it's a bit difficult to spell, but I, it's G-A-E-A. -A. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations, and best of luck with thank the you. project. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman, reporting for Katie Chats at Hot Docs in Toronto.